Good morning, everybody. This is Miss Lena. I hope you all is well today, and I hope God is having a blessing day. I'm showing you what I'm making for today. It's my uh, Sunday dinner, and I'm going to be putting together a meatloaf. But first of all, I will say thank you all to all of my subscribers, all the viewers, and all the ones that's coming on that's not subscribing. And thank you to everybody that's loyal and faithful to me. I appreciate you so much, and I want God to continue to bless each and every one of you, wherever you may be. And I thank you so much. So now I'm getting ready to read my Bible verse for today. And it is coming from Psalms 54, chapter, and chapter 54 and verse 4. Surely God is my help. The Lord is the one who sustained me. Thank you so much. From 54.4, from Miss Lena's Kitchen for a Sunday. I'm getting ready to prepare a meatloaf out of ground meat. And I'm only using one pound of ground meat because everybody else is going. Nobody else is here to eat the ground eat the ground meat but me. And I've already put my breadcrumbs in. And I'm getting ready to do. These are the ingredients that I'm going to be using. This is my garlic powder, of course. That's my favorite ingredient, one of them. My onion powder. Okay. I have my black pepper. All right. And I'm using just a very bit, tiny bit of table salt. Not much, just a little bit. Probably about a one eighth of an ounce of a, of a spoonful. Okay, so now I'm getting ready to put in my onion. Okay, I have to always stand. Sometimes I can do it sitting down, but sometimes I can't. I will be putting a, just a little bit of my onion soup dip recipe in there also. I don't use the whole package. I'll probably use just maybe one fourth of it. Because I'm making a very small meatloaf. Okay. Alright, so now I'm putting everything in at one time. And this is uh one but uh, uh one fourth cup of uh green bell pepper cane. And I also have a few onions here also. Okay, now, I don't think it's going to be in my Rio here, but I'm going to fresh blend this together before I do that. I will be adding my egg. I've got it fairly well blended, as you can see. All of, I make all my breadcrumbs that bring it into the into the meat, okay. And I'm going to be pouring just a little bit of the Rio in it. And the egg. You just put the Rio in there. So I'm kind of blending my Rio in with the egg also. I'm using uh, the plain breadcrumbs. This might not be enough. Let me check. I don't want too many or too much, but I want just enough. I 
I'm used to making everything larger and three or four pounds of meat, but this is only a pound and maybe one one pound of meat, so and I'm trying to cut it down. It's awfully hard when you're used to making everything a whole lot, a big loaf and everything. I'm trying to cut it down just for me. Okay. Diced tomatoes and everything. I'm just using the Rio because it has everything in it. And I had planned on using a little bit of it, but I decided I wouldn't because I don't think I really need it because I don't need that much. And the Rio has everything in it also when I get ready to put it in. The Rio combines with the with the whole um, whole tomatoes and everything with the whole tomatoes and everything. So that's why I'm not going to use it. I'm trying this for myself. And probably make it just a little bit smaller. That's why I'm not doing a lot of extra stuff that I do when I make a larger one. Okay. So now I'm going to put it in the pan. I'm going to mold it out. So. I'll tell you guys, it's so, it's kind of hard when you, you're used to making a whole lot and a big, uh, bigger amount of of a meatloaf or whatever for the family size. And it's kind of, it, it kind of, kind of, it bothers me because I don't kind of cut it down to where I can make a small one. And sometimes it gets a little harder to make a smaller one when you're used to making everything a big family size. So... This is my size, so I'm not going to eat all of it, but, you know, for a day or two, I'm going to, uh, let me just, I'm going to slice just a little bit of onion and put it on top. Okay, I'm just about ready to put it in the oven. I'm running down with just a little bit of uh, bell peppers at the end, and so I decorated it a little bit. Okay, now I'm going to be putting my, uh, some more Rio on top. This is a very good uh, for us. Something is short. It doesn't have to have, you don't have to put a lot on it, but it just depends on what you like and how much, uh, but I like a lot of sauce on mine. I like to put it over my cornbread. So when I do that, then I have what I what I really enjoy. Because I love gravy and I love sauce off of the off of the um, meatloaf or whatever I have. I know sometime at the point of the day I have to uh I don't know how fat this meatloaf uh this will be. I may have to drain the grease from around it before I've completed. So I'm gonna be putting it in the oven now and I'll be back and show it to you shortly. Thank you so much. Okay, I'm back and I have the finishing touches of the my uh, single meatloaf just for myself. This is just a small one made out of one pound, about a pound and a half of ground meat, okay? And I wanted you to see the finishing touches of it. Okay, I have several uh, uh, meatloaf on, uh, on my videos, so this is one. Now I'm gonna taste it for you. I know it's very good. There are some items that I didn't put in this one that I put in the others that you have. Okay. Mm. It's really very good. And now, along with the meat though, I have fresh green beans, and I have uh, potatoes. With, I have new potatoes with the green beans, and I have southern mashed ice not potatoes, and I have uh, fresh green cabbage, okay, with the cornbread. So that is my dinner for today. But the meatloaf is really, very, very good, and I hope you will try it. It doesn't take much for this particular one. The other one, I had to put a little bit more ingredients, and I did this one. 
but it is still off the chain. Believe me if I tell you. It is very good. So, to everybody, I love you all. And this is Miss Lena from my Lena's Kitchen with the final touches of my today's meatloaf. I thank you all so much. I hope you will enjoy it, and I hope you will make one if you in, if you like meatloaf. Thank you so much. And goodbye from Miss Lena's Kitchen. Of all my love to everybody. So long.